Would diabetics with COVID-19 need to know about their disability insurance claim? I'm sure when you purchased a disability insurance policy, you never thought that you would be applying for disability insurance benefits as a result of COVID. But we know that the complications of COVID are astounding. They can include cardiac, pulmonary, neurological, and vascular complications that can force you to file your disability insurance claim. So what are the complications of COVID-19 for diabetics? According to the uh, American Diabetic Association, the complications of uh, diabetes uh, uh, are, are significant because people with diabetes are not only of a, at a greater risk for contracting COVID-19, but the complications for a diabetic can be worse than those for someone who is not a diabetic. One of the known complications of COVID-19 is diabetic ketoacidosis, D DKA. It can make it difficult for you to handle fluid intake and uh, can screw up your electrolyte levels. Controlling those levels is key to controlling sepsis, which in turn can lead to severe complications if you have COVID-19. If you have COVID-19 and you are diabetic, uh, it's been suggested that you keep a record of your uh, glucose readings uh, and your ketone readings uh, and your fluid consumption uh, and that you also record your diabetic symptoms. So there can be a potential correlation between any abnormalities. Uh, the COVID symptoms record uh, is going to help you not only with your physician, but it'll help you file a claim for your disability insurance benefits. Why is that? So let me give you some tips for filing your disability insurance claim for COVID-19 if you are a diabetic. One of the things that you need to understand is that um, the disability insurance company is going to be applying the definition of disability, even your policy, whatever it is. And they're going to be looking at your medical records. Now, part of what they're going to be looking at is what your symptoms are. What was the status of your diabetes before you developed COVID-19? What are your COVID-19 symptoms? What are your increased diabetic symptoms? And how do both your COVID-19 and diabetic symptoms impact your ability to function? Because most likely you were working uh, prior to um, contracting COVID-19. So the issue is going to be what's changed medically in terms of your symptoms uh, and how those symptoms impact your ability to function. The other thing is your occupational history. You're going to be asked to complete a work history or occupational history forms. And I want you to think backwards. What are the duties that you can't physically do now uh, post COVID-19 and why? What are the duties that you could do cognitively before that you may not be able to do now and why? Did you have any duties that involved interaction with the public? Can you do those or not do those and why? I want you to do that analysis because I think it's a good way to make sure that you haven't missed any of your symptoms and that will also help you explain why you can't do the material and substantial duties of your occupation. So we want to think about this um, not only physically, cognitively, but in terms of your uh, social or um, professional interactions. Next, you're going to have to get your doctor to fill out an APS form, an attending physician statement form. Now that form has never ever asked the right questions of anybody, much less a COVID-19 sufferer who is a diabetic. There is n no known uh, APS form for COVID-19 or di uh, diabetes. So what I try to do is I try to modify some social security disability forms that I use in my social security practice. I'll take the diabetic residual functional capacity form and depending on uh, the nature of the problems, I'll, I may even take a um, MECFS chronic fatigue residual functional capacity form and modify them to create uh, a supplement to the work to the uh, LTD carriers APS form because I want to make sure the right questions are being asked. So the key here is to document your symptoms, document your occupation and why you can't do your occupational duties and to make sure that your doctor is being asked the right question. Look, I get it. I have been representing uh, people with disability claims for many, many years and I know that you can't wait to get those disability insurance benefits. After all, you purchased it to provide you and your family with peace of mind and uh, financial support. I don't want your claim to be delayed, denied, or even terminated. I've been helping policyholders with diabetes for years, and I have now been helping COVID-19 patients, including long-term COVID 
uh, 19 symptom haulers, if you will, um, since the pandemic. My job is to help you get your short and long-term disability benefits as quickly as possible. It doesn't matter what your occupation is. It doesn't matter what your medical condition is or the complications you have. It doesn't matter where you live. I'm here for you. Why? Because when I was growing up, my dad became disabled and I watched him make the difficult decision to stop work and apply not only for his long-term disability benefits, but his social security disability benefits. I've dedicated my legal career to helping those who are disabled and unable to work to get the disability insurance benefits they deserve. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. I look forward to helping you and your family get that financial peace of mind you deserve.